What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your RDR3U to your studio desk. Twist it to the left, then you'll hear that click, and then you can just take the key out, and now the door won't open. So first let's go over how to set it up to the rack of our studio desk. So when you set it up to your desk, you'll wanna make sure that you have the appropriate spacing like you see here. Now before we place the drawer inside of our studio desk, there's actually a couple of things to keep in mind. The first thing is we'll want to be sure that the rack of our studio desk has enough space for 3U items like our drawer. So if we take a look at the rack of our studio desk, you'll be able to tell what the spacing is by looking at these holes here and these blank spaces here. So to count 1U for our studio desk, we're gonna count from this starting point here, then we're gonna look for this blank space, and then the second hole here, and that will count 1U. And if we keep going by that logic, we have the next hole here, blank space, and then the second hole, that would be 2U, and then we have the next hole, blank space, and then another hole, and that would be 3U. So again, the quickest way to see if you have space is by looking at the blank spaces, and if you're able to count three of them between your starting and end point, so one, two, three, that's 3U right there. Another thing to keep in mind is that you will need M6 cage nuts that look like this, and you're also gonna need M6 screws. You can find these at any hardware store, and you can even buy them online. You just have to look up M6 cage nuts and M6 screws. So we have to place these cage nuts inside of our rack here. As you can see, we have three of them set up right now. So I'm gonna show you how to do that with the last one we have here. So when looking at the cage nuts, you'll see these lips here, and this is what's gonna be used to connect to the rack. Sometimes it's a bit hard to force it in, so what you can do is take a pair of pliers and use them to squeeze in the lips of the cage nuts like that. And now if I take the cage nut and try to fit it into the space here, I'm just gonna do that by pressing it in just like that you'll see that it fits perfect. Another trick you can use is by inserting one lip and then using a flathead screwdriver to secure the other lip onto the other side. Now that we've got the space all prepped, we'll go ahead and insert the drawer into our rack here. Now some of the racks on studio desks like this one here are designed to have a bit of a slant, so keep that in mind when you're placing your drawer inside of the racks. So after you've chosen where you want to place the drawer and put the cage nuts inside, you're just gonna take the drawer and line it up to that spot. Then you're just gonna push it into the space in between the racks here, and you may need to shimmy it just a little bit so that the screws on the side of the drawer can go through. So you're just gonna keep pushing it in, and then you wanna line up the rack ears of your drawer to the cage nuts that we placed in earlier. So once you have the drawer all lined up to the spot on your rack that you want, you're gonna take four screws that will fit inside of the cage nuts here and just line each screw up to each nut. Then you can take your screwdriver and screw in each screw to lock the drawer in place. And once we have the drawer all set, we can take our key and open it up. And now we're able to open up the drawer and place anything that we want inside or take anything out. And if you ever wanna take the drawer out of your rack, you're just gonna follow the steps in reverse. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RDR3U to your studio desk. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville and we'll see you guys next time.